Hello. In this session, we go for practical on vulnerability scanning. So there are many tools available over the internet where you can do vulnerability scanning. And Nessus is one of them. And Nessus is widely adopted and used um, in different fields of cybersecurity uh, for the vulnerability scanning. So I'm using uh, Nessus tool to uh, scan my one of the machine. So you'd, uh, you can go for tenable.com product Nessus where you will get a Nessus family of Nessus Essential, Professional, and Thinable.io, which will give you an unlimited scanning subscription. But the problem is I cannot go for Professional and Thinable.io because they are not free. You can go for try, but uh, they are actually not free. So uh, this is good for me, Nessus Essential, because it is uh, free, but having a limited subscription, we can only scan 16 IPs. But this is at least uh, good for me where I can test and practice uh, in vulnerability scanning. So the steps are pretty straightforward. Uh, what you need to do is you can go for tenable.com uh, where we have product and we have Nessus. You, you click on this download button, uh, a new web page will open where they're going to ask you for an activation code. Uh, so register yourself by giving first name and last name and your preferable I, uh, email address. So when you click on this register button, you will get your activation code in the mail. So you can see here that uh, I got an activation code uh, and download Nessus button. So when you click on this download Nessus button, so basically what will happen, uh, the Nessus is going to be downloaded, which ha which is having a size of maybe, maybe 60 MB or something like that. Uh, and uh, so I download it for uh, uh, my Debian system. They have, uh, um, they have, uh, they have different platform to download like maybe windows operating system mac or maybe for any linux operating system or for debian operating system so i already have it uh, so when you uh, when you go when you go download it uh, you can go to cd download you can see uh, i'm sorry i need to yeah so when i give an ls command i hope uh, this is visible to you if it is not let me just uh, zoom it a little you can see here that, uh, I'm sorry, I think I'm using Windows command here. So here is a Nessus 8.13.1 Debian AMD 64.dot. So this file is going to be downloaded uh, where you need to extract it with the help of dpkg command dash i and give the Nessus. Uh, maybe you can give sudo here if it is uh, non-root. So when you hit enter, you probably, uh, you, will, you will get uh, something like this screen, something like this. Let me open it for you. So you will get something like this. Uh, let me zoom it for you. Uh, you can see that uh, I have used the same command sudo dpkg dot, uh, dash i and having a Nessus .dap file, uh, which will uh, basically unpack it and uh, will give you to start the service. And you can start uh, the service with the help of uh, slash bin system ctl start nessd service and when you start it you will get a, a link http colon parrot uh, uh, colon 8834 having a port of 8834 so when you click on this screen you will uh, basically open a web page uh, not like this basically but uh, you will get a different uh, gui where you having a target space where you can provide the ip address and there is a button called as scan but uh, i already did one scan for my one machine uh, which is windows xp sp3 version and uh, uh, so you you can click on this host discovery where you provide your ip address so my XP IP address is 192.168.117.136 and then just run the scan. Well, by the way, you can go for these advanced, scan, advanced scanning as well. You can go for uh, advanced scan, advanced dynamic scan or a malware scan. Go for bash, drawn, uh, bad lock detection, uh, web application test, which is really good. You can even go for uh, some uh, ransomware scan or uh, these are actually upgrade versions, but uh, this is good. So I did a basic network scan on my Windows XP and this is the result of it. You can see here, right? So this is my basic network scan. Uh, you can see that uh, this uh, XP has an uh, IP of 117.136 having a Mac and it is XP service pack 2 and service pack 3. 
so just 21 minutes um, time elapsed where I have done this scan. You can uh, overall see the graph here. I have 62% uh, uh, simple information about my XP machine having a low uh, information of 4%. There is a high vulnerabilities, sorry, medium vulnerabilities of 19%. There is a high vulnerabilities of 4%, and there is a critical vulnerabilities of 18. So cumulatively, I have 47 vulnerabilities. You can see in general, and if we see one by one, it will take a, a lot of time. Basically, to scan or uh, to for, to go for vulnerability scan, it will take. Um, you know at least uh, for half an hour at least it will take Nessus. If you are giving large number of IP address it will take uh, maybe long hours. So that's why I have not performed the live scanning here and uh, I did it like in the offline mode. Uh, I'm, I'm showing you the report actually right. So you can see here that uh, there is some information about a known service detector which says banner retrieval if I click on it. It will tell me that there is a there is a banner retrieval problem. You can you can even see the banner, which says uh, get HTTP 1.0, and basically it, it may be give some information about my computer, maybe for website fo footprinting or or any other footprinting. Um, so this is uh, it. Uh, it is working on 79 port number. Uh, go to the vulnerabilities. Uh, there might be a trace route information which is actually this is parrot is uh, my uh, virtual machine and xp is also my virtual machine and so uh, there is actually no uh, hope count maybe there is you can see that oh yeah there is one hope count for from 141 to 136 so this is trace route information because these are virtual machines uh, nearby uh, you can see there is a SMTP service server detection. I have one service uh, of SMTP which is completely open uh, for our testing purpose. So that's why it is telling me that there is a SMTP server and which is completely open. Please uh, close it. You can see that you need to disable the service if you do not use it. So this is one thing of Nessus is very good that they are giving you some a solution to your uh, service problem. Uh, there is uh, one more issue here that, that is miscellaneous for my operating system which is SMB. You can see that SMB protocol version 1, well SMB is should be used <laughs> in uh, Windows operating system mostly uh, for, for different purposes uh, that we had seen in I think in, in one of the enumeration. So uh, actually SMB is used for remote uh, connections. Uh, so I'm using a very uh, lower version, so version one. So uh, better thing is to disable this, and based because of that reason, several ports can be open. Uh, so it is not a good idea or a way to uh, use protocol version one. So this is one of the information. And later on, you can see that there are several other things. Uh, there is an NTP service detection which I have explicitly installed on my XP machine for NTP enumeration, if you remember. So there is a uh, open port 123. So you can see here that uh, an NTP service has been discovered listening on port 123, which should not be there. Uh, you actually NTP always disabled and explicitly you are enabling it. So I enabled it for the NTP enumeration. Uh, in the uh, in the enumeration section you had seen right um, then uh, there are there are some low information about my pop 3 which is a post office protocol for my mail which has some login permission problem there is also one miscellaneous problem for my SSL and TLS certificates you can see there is a one uh, TLS version 1.0 proto protocol detection has been observed. Uh, so it is uh, the versioning problem here 1.0 is actually a very um, older version and they are telling us that please uh, upgrade it to f upgrade it to 1.2 or at least 1.3. Um, sorry 1.3 at least 1.2. Uh, so 1.2 1.0 is actually a very older version because of that uh, there are many problems uh, can be occurred. So it is better to disable it and go for a TLS 1.2 or at least 1. Point, uh, sorry, at least 1.2. Go for 1.3. Uh, then uh, you can see that uh, these are uh, maybe uh, SSL. There is one issue. There is SMB signing not required. Uh, there are TLS problems. You can see these are TLS SSL problems. There is one HTTP uh, web server issue. Maybe uh, yeah. So. There is HTTP trace or track methods. Uh, 
So uh, there, there is one uh, web server uh, having an HTTP is enabled and they are saying that please disable these HTTP methods. Um, so uh, this is also one of the medium vulnerability that they have they, they have found. I have a XAMPP server uh, which has an HTTP running and uh, I explicitly did that for testing purpose. So you can see that uh, they are also saying that unsupported web server detection. Uh, they are also saying that there is SSL version two and three protocol detection. Uh, so having a very low CBC ciphers, uh, you can see here that they have low uh, strength ciphers. So it is smaller than smaller than equals to sixty four bit key, and it is not a good idea to use it. Uh, so SSL version two is enabled, and they are saying that it is not a good way. Uh, so instead of that, you can go for TLS, uh, which is far better than SSL. Um, so th th these are high vulnerabilities, and there is one critical uh, uh, problem, and this critical problem is because of my Microsoft Windows XP uh, that I had installed, and they are they, they are saying that it is completely uh, not supporting operating system from. April 8, 2014. It is not a good idea to use this Windows XP. So upgrade it. <laughs> this vulnerability is actually a regular vulnerability. Uh, and other things are uh, you can even go for Apache HTTP server, which is having a lot of problems here. You can see these are medium, they are critical problems. If you go for Apache 2.2, so here is uh, Apache 2.2.x uh, is actually having a lower version. Uh, currently, it is 2.2.13 at least uh, they are working on. Uh, so they are saying that upgrade it to at least uh, 2.2.13 or later. So because of this lower version, there is a problem called as APR Paloc comes up and APR Paloc is something like uh, sometime a, progr a program needs some of the pool memory from the operating system. So uh, one way to give the, the pool memory from the operating system is to use APR pool API function. APR pool API function, uh, something like APR paloc. So paloc will give you the uh, generic memory location from the pool. So in that, uh, there is heap overflow uh, come and sit. And that's why it is saying that at least uh, you should uh, go for 2.2.13 and not uh, go for 2.2. or X version, which is a lower version. Uh, so these are those problems because of my uh, Apache 2.2.0 X is a lower version. There is also open SSL uh, multiple issues problem. You can see one critical problem. So this open SSL unsupported is, uh, you can see that it is, uh, I think versioning problem again, it is of uh, 0 0.9.8 uh, version, uh, but uh, you should go for 1.1.1, which is the current stable version of open SSL. So this is the versioning problem. These all vulnerabilities are explicitly, I installed it just for the, uh, just for the vulnerability scanning and for the testing purpose. I hope you are getting it. So in this way, you can do the vulnerability scanning and there are many things you can do with Nessus Essential at least. Um, so all these, uh, uh, I hope you, you get this. Uh, you can see the overall uh, information here. 14 critical, 43 high, 81 medium, 6 is low and then 85 is information only. Uh, you can go for remediations. These are the actual, uh, uh, the, the high end uh, vulnerabilities. So I hope uh, this is uh, pretty much, uh, um, I mean, uh, oh, although you can also, uh, once you have this, uh, I mean, let me just go for the scan. Um, so, uh, you can even go for this report here. You can extract it to PDF, HTML, or CSV, uh, just like this. You in PDF you will get something like this. So this is the PDF exported PDF, which is a good way uh, to show to some stakeholders or in the to your authorized authoritative per person. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next session with uh, another vulnerability scanning tool, and we will see that how uh, we can go for. Uh, uh, scan for XP machine for my for the same machine with a different tool. Okay, Nessus is there, but we also have some other tools by which we can scan our, our target machine. I hope you like it. So thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next session.